you very much. Lastly, I'd like to invite Jennifer Davis, there she is, to come up. Can you get a microphone, Patrick? Uh, Jennifer Davis is going to speak a little bit about Philope de Coast, which for the last month and this month have been their membership drive. Uh, I'll just say a brief preamble. Philope de Coast is a mouthful, especially for converts. Philope de Coast, we can all say it together, Philope de Coast means love for the poor. So remember this as you hear all of the wonderful things that Philope de Coast does. Hi, uh, my name's Jennifer Davis, if I haven't met you. Um, I serve on the Saints Mary and Martha Philoptikos board, and I'm honored to speak today to all of you about Philoptikos. As Father said, Philoptikos means friend of the poor. We, um, as the women of Philoptikos, are the philanthropic arm of the parish, and our call is to serve others. Our mission is to comfort, to give comfort where we see pain, sustenance, where we find hunger and hope, where we encounter The Greek Orthodox Ladies Philoptikos uh, Society is a national organization, and it originated over 90 years ago to serve others in need. Each year, our chapter has a membership drive, which we're doing now, and where we invite all women to either renew their membership or we welcome new members. Um, so what exactly does Philoptikos do, which we get this a lot, and what do members' benefits go towards? Okay. Um, I'd like to speak briefly about the national, the metropolis, and the local Philoptikos for maybe to give you a little bit of insight. Um, nationally, Philoptikos has over 400 chapters in the United States, and there are over 26,000 women that are involved in Philoptikos. Today, Philoptikos is one of the largest philanthropic organizations in the United States. I did not say Orthodox. I did not say Christian. Right? Did it go out? Okay. Um, which is pretty amazing. Uh, the national organization supports a ton of things. You could go online and read it, but I can just throw some at you. Um, they give money to retired priests and presbyteras that are widowed. They help in uh, International Orthodox Christian Charities, Orthodox Mission Center. They grant, give grants to cancer research. They support autism. They give to UNICEF. They give medical help to people in need. Uh, they're huge on emergency response. The National Philippines responds to every single natural disaster that happens in the United States, every single one of them. When Texas just had the big ice storm, they jumped, they contacted their local parishes in Texas, and in four and a half days, the National Philoptikos had food on the ground to four different food banks in the state of Texas. It's very impressive what these women do. In 2020, I think it was over $2 million that, uh, that they gave away in need. So what about the metropolis level? So we have a San Francisco metropolis that we are under. Um, some of their focuses are the Bishop Anthony Philoptikos Student Aid Endowment Fund, which is scholarships that go to seminarians and to uh, students that want to go to Holy Cross or go to Hellenic College. Father Matthew, Father Steve Tussing, Father Chuck, uh, Constantine Trump Bauer, all benefited from this financial aid, as well as there's several families in our parish that have had kids that have benefited from this. So this is what membership goes towards, the things I'm talking about. When you, when you join Philoptikos, you're supporting the metropolis's um, endeavors as well. Another thing that is very important to the metropolis is kids in cancer, Camp Agape. Um, every year, except for last year, there's a camp for kids in cancer and it's not just for the kids, it's for their siblings, it's for their parents, it's for their grandparents. It's like a week away from hospitals and doctor's appointments. It's a chance to love on these families. And the national metropolis of Philoptikos hugely supports this. There's four different camps in our metropolis. There's two in California. There's one in Arizona. There's one in Portland. There's one at Camp Angelo. So 
when you join Philoptopos, this is another thing you're supporting, is this beautiful opportunity to help these families. Actually, today, there's a national Philoptopos virtual like fundraiser for kids in cancer today. So if you want to know about it, talk to someone after church. We can um, set you up. Um, locally, our, our focus is Family Promise. It's an organization that helps families experiencing homelessness. Before COVID, we were very blessed to host families in our parish for a week. We continue to love them in the best way we can. We have made meals. We have, you have made beautiful cards for the families. You have delivered food to the emergency shelter families in hotels. You've given money to get dressers for a mom in need. All of this is what we do through Philoptocos. We bring these to the parish and uh, we serve. Um, let's see what else we do. Grabbing gift bags. We, we provide you the opportunity to make these bags so that in turn everyone can have a bag in their car to hand out to the homeless. We facilitate fundraising for the Benevolence Fund with through Toss of the Turkey and Christmas cards. We do Paris visitations and meals. We assist uh, with the Trisayon. If someone passes away in our parish, the Philoptikos does our best to help the family for the Trisayon, maybe set the food up and get that for them to support them. Lastly, we, we support Father Matthew, and which a lot of times means also food events that we are overseeing in the parish. Speaking of food events, this year, as you notice, Father Matthew did not mention Palm Sunday. We will not be having that awesome Palm Sunday, Sunday uh, salmon dinner to support the Sisters of St. John the Forerunner. But we are, however, going to be asking people to make a contribution so that we can still support them as they hold the world up in their prayers. And so I think details will be coming soon on that. Our main focus is outreach. Priority is always going to be philanthropic. Fellowship is important, and we have heard from our members that this is something that many are understandably craving. Sorry if it's going out. Philopticus is as we serve side by side to assist those in pain and despair and hunger. We're also participating in fellowship with our sisters in Philopticus. And we all hope that more opportunities for both of those are going to happen soon. I... Can you hear me? Okay. I'm almost done. I've heard Philopticos described in many ways. The comforting arm of a parish, an army of love, and sisterhoods in service. We are called to remember the poor, those in pain and hunger. We all ourselves have our own struggles in life, but out of the abundance of our gratitude for God, we strive to serve. When we, mar when we work to make even a small difference in the world, we also benefit. There is such joy in serving. We welcome all of you to join us as we strive to be Christ's hands and feet in the world. Please stop by our table in the South Fellowship Hall today and become a member of one of the largest, largest philanthropic organizations in America. Thank you. Je Jennifer, you mentioned if, if women and sisters. Is it, are there men that can be members too? Or? Men can be members. We actually have a, a, a young man in our parish that is a member every year. Two, excuse me, that are members. Okay. Yes, so men can be members. Men and women. Okay, good. 